if you told me six years ago that I would one have the confidence and the self worth, that's probably the biggest piece. Um, but then two also have a body that I thought was never even possible and have these experiences to work with like such incredible companies, I would not believe you for one second. My name is Lindsay Rinks. I am a Magnum sponsored athlete. I'm in my fifth year of sponsorship, which is such a gift. And I don't even remember what your last question How long was. have you been training? Oh, not long, not long. So I actually, um, I'm, I have no natural athletic ability. I've never played sports. I never foot, stepped foot into the gym until 2018. Really? Yeah, Okay. which is wild because if you think about it, my first experience stepping foot in a gym was in 2018, and then I signed with Magnum Nutraceuticals in 2019. They must have seen the natural talent behind you then. I think a lot of it had to do with um, having a relationship with the Popeye store in my hometown. Oh, okay. So that got me introduced to the products. But then I also started a social media page, and I was sharing the products. And I guess from the people going into Popeye's, that's kind of how my name got on Marcus's radar at the time. Gotcha. So it, it took 2018, no sports in high school, no sports like active uh, outside school activities in elementary school, nothing like that. 2018 was the year that you decided, I'm going to give this thing a shot. What what brought yeah. you to that point? Well, I did. I played rugby in grade eight. I played one season. So full disclosure, that was my entire athletic career was grade eight. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Uh, but for me, I think um, in 20, June 2016, yeah. I hit like a really low point, like a rock bottom. Um, I was drinking quite heavily. I was severely overweight, about 60 pounds heavier than I am now. Mm. And I just had no self-confidence, no self-worth. I was quite depressed. And I like honestly didn't know who I was or or like I didn't even have a desire to live, if I'm being honest with you. So that was kind of like this push off point. Mm. Um, was going into the world of sobriety. And for the first um, year and a half, two years of my sobriety, I was doing a lot of like internal work, like kind of just that like personal growth work. I started to feel good. I also lost 15 pounds just from removing alcohol from my life. And it kind of, it just turned into like this, I feel good and I want to keep feeling good. So to me, that next natural progression was, okay, well, maybe I'll start to work out. And what that looked like was my parents had a condo at the time with a little gym downstairs. Right. And it was me in the gym. No word of a lie. I believe it was the, I think I said it was a treadmill, but I think it was actually the elliptical. Mm. I lasted four minutes, <laughs> four minutes on the elliptical. Yeah. I thought I was going to die. Like this is, there is, this was not for me, but I knew I wanted change. Right. So I just kept coming back. And the next day I tried for five minutes. And then the next day it was six. And then I started to YouTube some exercises and I would try like one of them. Right. So before I knew it, I was, I could do an hour cardio without wanting to have a heart attack and die. <laughs> and I started to feel stronger and, and I started to look better. Yeah. Like my clothes started to fit better. Um, my mood, my sleep, uh, my digestion, like everything improved. And it just kind of went from there. It's interesting. Uh, and like, not not to go one to one but like it was a low point for myself and even a low point for my girlfriend alicia simpson which you're familiar with that uh, drove us to this uh healthier decision this healthier lifestyle i too was at a very low point in my life where I just I just felt like I hit rock bottom and there was nothing that was making me happy or smile or feel good about myself at that moment and it was the uh, January 6th, 2012, where I took it upon myself to, to just change something I knew I can take control of and that was my health. And I started working out. And my first uh, piece of workout equipment at home was an elliptical. <laughs> no way. Yeah. It, it, it was, it was, it was a, in it longer. 
than so, I have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bit. Yeah, uh, believe me, I my my athletic uh, a journey from 2012 to now has been strife with uh, mistakes and learning from uh, you know bad choices or uninformed choices. So yeah, it's it's been a journey, but. Um, yeah, it's it's interesting and wild to, to know that there are some people out there who have kind of the same story where it's they hit a low point and go, okay, I got to control something, and that something is my own health. 100%. It's like the one thing that we can really control. Like yeah. we can't control people, places, things. We can control our outlook and what we put into our bodies and how we spend our time. Yeah. With with the topic of like what we can control and what we put into our bodies and the time that we put into our bodies. Uh, you are an athlete in regards to the fact that you take care of yourself. You challenge yourself. You push yourself. You had one year in rugby in grade eight. Uh, but beyond that, you are into fitness for fitness sake. A hundred percent. So it's like the health and wellness aspect um, that just drove me to it, just wanting to like continue to feel good. And as a byproduct, you start to look a, a good, yeah. for lack of better words, and then it just kind of keeps motivating you. Yeah. But I, I don't I don't know, it's wild. Like I am a sponsored athlete, yeah. so I am with Popeyes as well as with Magnum. And actually at the time I was the only non-athlete athlete. And I've continued uh, to hold my spot for the last five years, which is such a blessing. And I, re- I remember when I set this goal for myself, I was with Popeyes. Actually, my anniversary with Popeyes is two days ago. Oh, wow. Six, cool. Six years, which is like wild. Mm. And it was around this time or maybe a month from now that the athletes were getting the invitations to go to Arnold's, the bodybuilding competition. Because, you know, Marcus likes the glitz and glam. So there was all of these all expense paid trips and you could earn your spot there. And so when, when Arnold's came, or I think Olympia, one or the other, mm-hmm. when it came up, I put a post out saying, um, like, I'm going to be a, a Magnum athlete by January. And I put a specific date. And then I, and I also said that the next round of the invitations, my name's is going to be on it. And sure enough, three days to that date, I was sitting on my front doorstep having a phone conversation with Marcus and it, all happened <laughs> that is incredible it's manifest destiny kind of sort of situation literally and there was a vision board on my fridge oh cool with the magnum logo mm. there's just something there was something about magnum that just drew me to it like growing up my my neighbor actually was a magnum athlete way at the start okay and she ended up um working at magnum hq yeah and I remember seeing her, like as a young young woman, I remember seeing her and just thinking like, wow, like she's so beautiful. Mm-hmm. Like she's so fit, she's so toned, she looks so happy. And I knew like in the back of my head, like I knew about Magnum because of that experience. And I knew, I somehow like put it up on a pedestal as this is when I'll make it mm-hmm. in a sense. It is Magnum that kind of brought you and I together, and uh, like I do, I do appreciate everything that they have done over the years, and the fact that they're transitioning to be more of the uh, appealing to the more broader of uh, fitness levels and athletes. I mean, they they pride themselves on their high quality products. Absolutely, this is not a commercial, by the way. Uh, <laughs> but, but no, but but this is like Magnum is what brought uh, the two of us together here uh, to talk today and I do appreciate the fact that like my girlfriend who is an ath- active competing CPA athlete me who has been uh, training uh, at different levels for 12 years and and plan on taking to the stage for the first time next year um, no way yeah 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 um, that's exciting Ma- Magnum like legitimately has something for everyone these days and they're continuing to broaden their horizons and broaden their uh, net as it were when it comes to uh, trying to help out those who want to challenge themselves and live healthier and become more athletic and it's it's wild to see how the company has changed in the past couple of years let alone decade i couldn't agree more and, yeah. it, and it's interesting too because i had a lot of fear 
Um, like when I started working out, I knew I wanted a protein powder and I knew I wanted a pre-workout because right. that's what everyone always talks about. So I, I remember the first time I stepped into Popeye's, the Coquitlam location, mm -hmm. and being terrified, yeah. like thinking that this was this big, scary world and also thinking that like maybe there was illegal substances <laughs> in these products, <laughs> like I was doing something wrong. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and the guys at Popeye's were honestly, they were so wonderful. And then I just, I talked to them about like where I was at and like what, what I was hoping for. And they just kind of like walked me through the store. They didn't push me to buy any products. I think I left with just a protein powder that day. And I remember it was vegan. It tasted like dirt, <laughs> but for some reason, like I was too scared to try whey because I thought that was like a bodybuilder thing mm. and I didn't want to be bulky. Yeah. Um, but then after like a few months of going into Popeyes and using products, they they introduced me to Magnum. Can you see it? Yes, I get, yes, I get everything behind you there. Yeah, in fact, so, uh, that's the new flavor right there. It is. It's a yeah. Popeyes exclusive flavor, and it is delicious, by the way. Um, but they introduced me to Quattro, and it was it was delicious. It didn't make me feel bloated. It didn't make me feel gassy. And and from there, I ended up trying what I call like a fat burner stack that mm -hmm. um, was three different products, acid, carn, and heat. Um, and I loved it. Mm -hmm. Like I loved how it made me feel. I loved the results that I got from the gym. And I was like, oh, okay. Like these are actually real ingredients. Like yeah. there's no b banned substances. And then I started to look into the company and learn that everything's pharmaceutical grade. Um, but even then, back then it was most of the products were in pill form, uh, which again is kind of like a bit of a scary thing and some people don't want to take another pill. Yeah. Uh, versus today with moving, they're still keeping the legacy line. So all of those like high performance athlete supplements, yeah. but then moving into the essentials line, I couldn't be more thrilled because this is the stuff everyone needs mm. the daily foundational items of having greens or or having their protein and they're actually releasing a couple new products coming up which i think you'll be very excited about absolutely in their essentials line but it's nice because it just kind of breaks down the barrier of of supplements and makes it more accessible for everyone yeah uh, a quick quick story uh, in regards to walking into a supplement store for the first time. I honestly wish there was a Popeyes where I live. There isn't. Uh, we, myself and my girlfriend, we uh, we actually have it shipped from the Okanagan because oh, that's, wow. that's the closest the Popeyes is. But um, it was years ago when I started my journey back in 2012, and I went into a local supplement store. I can't even remember the name of it, but I do remember I walked in. I said, "I'm looking to you know." help my help me get more results in the workout and, and with my fitness and my cardio and the guy behind the counter just seemed like like just unimpressed that I was there and so he pointed me over to a direction but it was kind of like one of those like Meh, go over there type things oh, yeah. I, I grabbed a flavor that I thought would be you know tasty and so I brought it back up to the counter I checked it and I got paid for it I left uh, I started to use this stuff uh, as I was, you know, finishing my workout, and I, I, it was about a week into this, I started to lose energy, like big time. I would get halfway through a workout and just completely gassed, and so I ended up taking this stuff to a different supplement store that was here in town. Again, I can't remember the name, and uh, I said, I've been taking this for a week, and like I just been like running out of fuel, and like I. I can't get through my workout. And then the guy behind the counter goes like, well, I mean, you're supposed to drink this before workout. Where's your protein powder? I said, I thought this was protein powder. He goes, this is BCAAs. <laughs> no I was, way. I, I had completely like cut out protein thinking, you know, by accident, thinking that I was taking a protein supplement. No, I was taking the energy drink. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's hilarious. And I hate that because like that experience is like what most people think of when they think of going into a supplement store, Yeah, which which then creates this barrier to actually some really incredible products. Yeah. Oh, it was, <laughs> I was losing weight, but I was like, I was not having the energy. <laughs> no, not what you came in for. Yeah, no, exactly. Should so have yeah. Went to Popeyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, Prince George, like the closest place is Kelowna or Kamloops. And that's a six to seven hour drive away. 
So yeah, I just had my cousin actually just moved up to Prince George. Oh really? My husband, yeah. Oh, so I'm cool. heading up there this summer. Oh cool! Right on. They bought a whole house. Yeah, it is. It is affordable up here. <laughs> not not down here. I know. <laughs> I'm originally from Vancouver. <laughs> oh okay. Yeah yeah. Um, anyway, completely off topic now. Um, <laughs> yeah, I love it. When it when it comes to uh, pushing yourself and uh, you know seeing everything that has happened when you first started in 2018 to now every once in a while do you do you get that sort of reminder of like look at how far i've come yeah yeah i i honestly don't believe it really like there's there's many times where like i look in the mirror and i and i just think back or or photos like memories pop up of like especially with the anniversary of popeyes was it was my six years and their 35 years like just looking at the progression of those photos yeah if you told me six years ago that i would one have the confidence and the self-worth that's probably the biggest piece um but then two also have a body that i thought was never even possible and have these experiences to work with like such incredible companies i would not believe you for one second yeah. like there's there's so many pinch me moments like if i've never <laughs> I have ADHD, so like, and I was very much unmedicated as a child. So like, I never saw something through. Mm. I would always start something and then put it down. And like, even if I would start something, maybe it would last two years, right. like a new hobby or something like that. But I've never seen something through, and, and for six years. But then also to be living the effects of um, the change. Mm. Like I, I wasn't healthy ever. I didn't enjoy healthy foods ever. Right. Uh, and I and I didn't. <laughs> if you if you're one of those people that told me, oh, like you just establish healthy habits and it gets better over time, like I I would not have believed you. Yeah, you know, it's, like, it, that's one of those statements where you're kind of like, what the hell does that even mean? <laughs> right. Yeah. You're like, what do you mean? I'm not going to want to eat pasta and pizza yeah. every day yeah. <laughs> and chips. Because I would just eat a bag of chips every single night in front of the TV. Like, who watches TV without chips? Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. But the yeah. fact that, like, today, I don't crave chips. Like, I don't crave... Every once in a blue moon, I'll crave a pasta or something like that. Yeah. But the, the foods that my body craves are the foods that make me feel good. And those are the foods that I go to and that I want to eat. Yeah. Which is wild, because I would have never thought that was a thing. Yeah. That I want to eat something healthy. Talking about supplements, uh, if you don't mind for a moment, when it comes to uh, what every, again, Magnum, everything, they have a lot of different things. Every supplement, just like every piece of nutrition, every candy, every uh, every every piece of food, period, will affect everyone differently. I want to, I'm, I'm looking at the stuff that I have here from Magnum um, and uh, the fasted cardio, which is something that I've been trying for the past little while. It's, it's interesting how it interacts with myself and it interacts with uh, other people and even my girlfriend. Whereas I don't, I don't feel like it's, it's really affecting me the same way as it really should be. It, it gets me a little bit hyper. It gets me a little bit energetic, but I don't feel as though like I'm ready to run up a mountain or anything like that. When it comes to uh, what Magnum has to offer, like there are there's going to be something there for everyone. It's going to affect everyone differently. Mostly like the, the, the end result hopefully is positive, of course, but like it, it really is. Results may vary depending on what it is, how you feel, what your body is willing to take. Right. I, I couldn't agree more. Yeah. And there are Magnum supplements that don't work for me. Yeah. Like, like how you, you mentioned well, fasted cardio. This, you got it right here. <laughs> like this. There you go. I think mine's, mine's up there. Yeah. <laughs> um, I love fasted cardio. Yeah. So fasted cardio, I think a lot of people just think like it is a pre-workout. Yeah. It has to be taken when you haven't eaten. Um, also, if you haven't tried double scooping it. I, I haven't tried that yet. <laughs> yeah, okay, I try might. double scooping it because yeah. that is, ooh. So, um, for me, like yeah. with the fasted cardio, like I get the mental clarity, I get the focus. Um, but the biggest thing for me is I sweat like crazy. I like don't. It raises, 
But yeah, I don't. Tr- but I'm also like 125 pounds. <laughs> yeah, that's <point>. fair. <laughs> so one scoop like hit. Yeah. Okay. Um, but like there's G Spring, which is um like one of their sleep line supplements. So, like mm. I can't, I can't take G Spring. Really? Like it doesn't make me tired. It does the opposite. Really? It kind of puts yeah. your body into a, like a fight or flight type situation. Oh, I am wired. Really? So, like there was like a three week period where I kept trying, kept trying, and I couldn't figure out why I wasn't sleeping. And then I eliminated it and I was fine. Uh, because like everyone is different and everyone's bodies react differently. Yeah. So like it makes sense, but I would I would recommend double scooping it. It probably you, you say you're 125 pounds. I'm 230 as of this morning. So maybe I do need to uh, double yeah. up on that. So. <laughs> And the nice thing about Magnum's products, yeah, um, like the powder products, one they're they're dye free, which I really appreciate. Yeah. Um, but but two, they're the level of caffeine in them isn't astronomical. No. So it's not like they're going and getting like a competitive, like a C four or like a I don't know Chris Bumstead product where one scoop is 300 pounds. Yeah. You don't want to double scoop that unless you want to put your heart at risk. Yeah. <laughs> where. A lot of the magnums are like 150. Yeah. So when you double scoop it, you're getting the double scooping of all the ingredients, which might give you like a better pump or like more endurance, more strength, mm. but you're not maxing out your caffeine load. Yeah. Which is really important. Yeah. Have you had a chance to meet with many of the other athletes underneath Magnum? I have. Yeah. It's, I don't, I still like, it's like a pinch me. Um, so I'm so lucky. I received, um, my first invite was to Olympia mm. and it was, it was like a backup invite. Like I wasn't on the exclusive list. Someone pulled out and I got an invite, um, but I couldn't unfortunately go cause I was in my teaching practicum at the time. Right. But then I got the Arnold's invite, like in the sealed envelope with the wax seal on it. Like, oh, cool. <laughs> It was so magical. It was like couriered to my house and like I opened it and like basically it gives you enough time to do a bodybuilding prep. Um, So I have done bodybuilding preps for photo shoots or for for things like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, So I I was able to connect with a bunch of athletes. Unfortunately, COVID hit. So Arnold's didn't happen. um, But Marcus hosted us at HQ for photo shoots, which was pretty cool and actually landed on a primer box. Oh yeah. That's, That's so cool. <laughs> right? So another cool thing about Marcus, um, he he really well honestly probably put a lot of money into it, but he really made um such an athlete culture around him. Mm. Like he his energy is very contagious. Like he's um you just want to be better and do better right. when you're around him. Uh, so often he would host these like pretty fancy events like red carpet events or like it would be some sort of like theme like a casino night at hq um and there would be opportunities for athletes to earn spots to be flown out from across uh, the country or across north america Mm -hmm. so i've been to like a whole bunch actually hq which is they're they're now in white walk but prior it was like 10 minutes from my house So it worked over there. (laughs) Yeah, I got a I got a train at the gym, and then I always uh, Marcus really made me feel a part of, and really made me feel um, no less than these high level athletes who were pros or like an expert in in their area. He always included me in everything. Mm. So I've met so many incredible people along the way that I would have never met, and I probably would have been terrified to talk to. Yeah, but they're all wonderful. Plus the social media piece, like just being able to connect with people through the athletes chat or just just through liking each other's pictures or messages so you you actually did get a chance to go to and like because the arnold's are generally held in uh columbus ohio are they not or am i wrong you're correct yeah yeah so you actually did get a chance to eventually go to the arnold's i didn't because oh, covid right sorry yeah you're right yeah yeah so i did the full prep and like i was just this little shredded thing who had only been working out for three years probably right. shouldn't have done a prep because I probably didn't have enough muscle um like six pack and yeah. then and then I was I don't know we were a week out like I was in peak week and yeah. and we got the word that the expo was canceled right so didn't get to go 
and and probably unfortunately being a teacher i i probably won't be able to go just due to the times but yeah, just be- even having the invite and the experience of of doing that was my first competition prep was it was it was amazing yeah a uh, question for uh, anyone who's who's watching this and is looking to take their take their athleticism and maybe even a bit of their exposure to the next level and to be a part of a team like what would you say to someone who wants and strives to be a magnum athlete uh set a goal number one manifest your own destiny set a goal to um social media we know is a big part of any sort of brand ambassador athlete sponsorship right um so if there are products that you know and that you love share about those products and and don't be sharing four different brands unless you're looking to sign a deal with a store like if you're like have your mindset on working with a company like those those are the products that you should be sharing about on your social media or whether you're talking about it with people at the gym um so just kind of like pick pick your spot and then hone in on it yeah exclusivity is important when you're talking when you're talking about getting the attention of a specific company 100 percent. and like i'm obviously with popeyes as well and so i do take a plethora of other products like mostly they're on like typical vitamins you know like the one side is all just the vitamins so i'll take a whole bunch of different vitamins or products that magnum doesn't have or like because they didn't have a greens until recently yeah um so i would take I still take those other products, but I'm not sharing about it on social media. Right. I'm not tagging those other companies. Um, they just want to know that your your brand's loyal, um, and then also get to know the products, right? Like if you understand the science behind why it's working, in conjunction with how it works in your body, uh, you just have a better story to share. Yeah. Uh, a question I've been asking uh, all my guests this year uh, is. It's something simple, something fun. I probably should have warmed you up to this beforehand, but uh, the, quest, the quest, question is, uh, what was your first paying job? Oh, first paying job. I was 12 years old. Okay. And I worked for Playland. Which no like way! The, the PME, <laughs> do you know? Yeah? Yeah! So this is fun. I like made cotton candy and like fudge and popcorn. Um, I was actually managing at the age of 13 and a half, I had people below me like, who were like <laughs> 20 years old and then I'm 13 running a stand. That is so cool. It was honestly, I was actually talking about this the other day. It was probably one of my favorite jobs I've ever had. Yeah. I was there for six years uh, and the culture there was ridiculous. It was in a time where um, less rules. <laughs> yeah. It was a different time. I get it. It was yeah. a different time. So like by the end, when I was obviously a little bit older, yeah. we would do like coaster parties. So you know the wooden roller coaster? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Like people would go there, BYOB, and we would just party inside the coaster. And I definitely know people who would climb up and like sit on the top Jeez. of the coaster. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Or even like when the fireworks happened downtown, they put us on um, uh, the elevator and just like pull us up to the top, and we watch the fireworks eating popcorn and then like bring us back down. Yeah, it really was a different time. <laughs> oh, you don't even know. We also did these like it was called Runner Wars, in which there was like because there's stands everywhere. Yeah, there's food stands and then there's like the cotton candy stands. So we had food runners and cotton candy runners. And we would like load water guns with the flossine powder, which is what dyes cotton candy. Okay, yeah, yeah. And it would be like team pink versus team blue. And we would have water fights throughout the entire Playland area during P&E Fair while people were there. That's that's so wild. Right? Like (laughs) random people would get like a strip of blue across the (laughs) None of us got fired. I have no idea how any of this happened. (laughs) But it was like the best day. And then at the end, we'd all line up and compare like who had more Uh color and like kind of like paintball. And then they would be the winner for the the year. Just some random people like, I was just trying to go to the bumper cars. (laughs) Yeah. And look what happened. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) 
Uh, just, 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 just to go one to one here. Uh, my first job was I was a pizza cook for uh, Panagopolis. This was before oh, before it was Panago. Yeah, that was my first ever job. My parents loved it because uh, I got a discount <laughs> on pizzas. Uh, any, <laughs> any, any toppings without you know without going overboard like seven or eight nine toppings that's too much but uh, yeah. small pizzas were three bucks <laughs> medium pizzas were four bucks large pizzas were five bucks i'd bring home dinner every night <laughs> oh, i love that for you pizza's still a love <laughs> oh yeah absolutely yeah pineapple uh, on pizza or no sorry do you like pineapple on pizza? yes i do <laughs> me too okay <laughs> controversial yeah, I don't know why, but whatever. <laughs> it's it's not like we're forced to have pineapple on pizza. You can say no. Anyway, exactly. before before I, I let you go here, uh, where can people go to find out more information about you as well as Magnum? My Instagram page. So it's Mind Body Soul Lindsay. Hmm. So you can find me on there, and then also like Magnum is linked at the top of my bio. Um, personally, I don't have a code to share to the general public to buy supplements okay. through Magnum, um, but your partner obviously will. Mine is through the Popeye stores, the Burnaby and Coquitlam location. So anyone who is local to here, if you walk into Popeye's Burnaby or Coquitlam and then you say Lindsay, um, you're going to get a, going to get a store wide discount. Wow, that's incredible. Not limited to Magnum, which is nice. Yeah, that's yeah. so cool. Thanks for making it to the end of this episode. Big thank you to you for watching or for listening or for checking out my website, themediajack.ca. There is where you can find other episodes, other content that I create as well. A link to the Patreon where you can support my show, all my work directly. Also where you could submit ideas, suggestions, or maybe you want to ask a future guest a question. Patreon is where you can go for all of that and so much more and also get a shout out just like Red Wolf Dawn, our executive producer for this month. Big thank you to you once again and check out themediajack.ca. The merch is there. You can get a really comfortable shirt like this supporting the Media Jack or my partner, the Iron Bikini. Or maybe you just want to get yourself a good mug or a gym shirt or something else that tickles your fancy, themediajack.ca. Take care.